induction program has been a recent tradition amongst universities across the country wherein students from different walks of life from different cities and states interact without inhibitions so as to promote a seamless peer to peer relationship it can be viewed as an ice breaker session of sorts anna university's ceg has been conducting the induction program for freshers on campus since 2018 The coronavirus pandemic forced us to move the program online in 2020. This year, the induction program was planned on campus as the number of COVID cases slowly but surely came to a decline. The Freshers Orientation program occurred on the 29th of October. The induction program was conducted in two batches so as to uphold the practice of social distancing. and preventing the propagation of the coronavirus the opening address was presented by the honorable dean of college of engineering gindi dr l sugandhi highlighting the numerous illustrious alumni of our prestigious institution the opening address was succeeded by a recorded message from the honorable vice chancellor dr velraj he paved a path that students can utilize for their engineering career he also stressed on the vitality of maintaining good health especially in these trying times and advised students to give utmost priority to their health this was followed by a brief address by the heads of various departments and centers of the college later the representative of the alumni association mr roop chandar emphasized on the eminence of the alumni network and encouraged them to approach the association for any assistance finally the student counselor and advisor addressed the students and gave them much needed assurance to soothe the excited albeit slightly nervous students and urged them to give their best in the days to come the session was neatly wrapped up with a patriotic air as it concluded with the students singing the national anthem the induction program occurred for 13 days between the 1st and 13th of november the daily schedule for the students during these 13 days included two sessions of yoga and campus walk for hostelers and day scholars alternatively in the morning followed by breakfast which was succeeded by two sessions of creative arts and universal human values where students split into two batches batch a and batch b attended an hour of human values followed by an hour of creative arts or vice versa till lunch after lunch was an hour of program on communication skills followed by a session of motivational talks or department related activities the day ended with the students engaging in a myriad of activities like personality development workshop sports activities self defense and gardening every day was kick started by the yoga session that took place in the vivekananda auditorium it was an hour of peace and tranquility as students were offered an opportunity to get one step closer to inner peace and calm their ever raging minds the jovial instructor even wittily suggested that the students use the 2 to 5 minutes of shavasana the asana where one lies down and relaxes completely to catch up on lost sleep since in getting familiarized with the vast campus and acquaint themselves with the campus roots and winsomeness while serving as a quick cardio session for the day the universal human values is a session that is conducted to emphasize on the core values that make us better people in life the freshers gather in different classrooms with 20 students each for the human values session the faculties divided the students into groups and engaged them in a discussion where one student from each group was asked to observe a picture for 2 minutes and describe it to their team members the discussion was broadened with other teams to 
enriching their thoughts in as well. Communication skills, logical reasoning and teamwork were boosted among the students through this. The intuitive interaction amidst the faculty and the hostelers geared the students up for a fresh new start in the college. The institution provided about 15 different creative arts choices to the students that included Bharatanatyam, Carnatic music, Kathak, Western music, Western dance, Zumba, painting, Zentangle, storytelling, theatre, photography, Tapatam, folk dance, traditional games, and Silambatam. Students trained with Trevor for these 13 days in their respective creative art of choice to finally showcase their talent for the last day of the induction program. Let's take a look at a typical day in the classroom of each art form. In Carnatic music, the instructor taught Gananadane in Ragam Saranga, Talam Adi, composed by Periyasami Turan. The students learn and master a few songs to showcase their excellence on performance day. In the Kathak dance art class, the instructor taught students some basic steps of the Hastak form of Kathak. In the Bharatanatyam class, the teacher taught some basic classical moves for a Bharatiya song. The diligent practice and accumulation of these moves would finally manifest into a complete dance routine for the full song. In Zentangle class, the tutor mentored the students on how to draw various patterns and even taught them some mind-boggling optical illusion designs. In the painting class, the instructor taught some basic strokes using acrylic colors to make their canvases bright with hues. During the storytelling session, the tutor asked students to write a story or to bring forward any creative work on paper that was inspired by the college. In Western dance, the students learned some basic moves for the famous Chadaput song Attention and the Tamil song Gandakannama. In folk dance, students learned a bit of the specific style of folk dance called Kaliyal. In Silambatam, the students learned basic Kuravanji style defensive moves. In the photography session, a CEG alumnus made a presentation on photography for the students to view the world in a whole new light through the camera lens. In Western music, there was an impromptu jam session by the official music band of the college. In Zumba dance, the tutor explained and taught a few Zumba steps with upbeat music. Tapatam is a traditional style of music. The students learned a few moves with some traditional beats in the background. In traditional games, the students played various games of yore, especially those of the southern states of India. The sessions were enjoyable, interactive and competitive alike. In theatre, the students were divided into groups and given a general topic. They had to come up with a story and perform a short skit on the spot. Communication skills coaches the students on basic English language skills that play a vital role in real life, be it in a workplace or an educational institution. A discussion with the staff on the prerequisites that make essays intriguing and interesting for the readers was done and an assignment to work on their vocabulary was given to ensure better understanding of the same. Motivational talks were scheduled alternatively with department-specific activities. On the 1st of November, a seminar on COVID-19 protocols was held by Mr. Mariam Arpudasani and Mr. Isaac Arul Kumar from the Department of Public Health and Preventive Medicine. Mr. Mariam Arpudasani gave a detailed explanation on the signs and symptoms of COVID and the steps to be taken if these symptoms were spotted. Mr. Isaac Arul Kumar then explained the prevention protocols. He demonstrated how to handle face masks. This awareness talk was a much needed lecture for the freshers. 
students found the talk informative and interesting. So they had another seminar scheduled with India's oldest Iron Man, uh, Arun Krishnan, who was a CEG alumnus from the batch of 1971. He emphasized the importance of sports and staying fit. On the 2nd of November, a brief on the activities of KDC, CAC, and ACOE was given. Dr. George Washington, the director of the Knowledge Data Center, KDC, took the students through the fee payment procedure, which was made entirely online. This was followed by an illuminating seminar on the Center for Academic Courses, CAC, by Dr. Raghuveera, the deputy director of CAC. Finally, Dr. R. Vidya, the additional controller of ex examinations for the university departments, filled the students in on the roadmap to graduation and the central role that the ACOE plays in conducting examinations and awarding degrees. As the students filed up to leave the auditorium, they took with them the knowledge of what lies in store and the firm belief that with sincere efforts, they'll come out with flying colors. As for the department-specific activities, students engaged in friendly games conducted by their seniors in their respective departments. They were also made familiar with the lab facilities and other infrastructure in their departments. The activities that wrap up the day are carried on with much enthusiasm. A remarkable workshop on personality development was conducted by yoga practitioner and self-growth facilitator Mr. Gautam Balaji. He actively engaged in a healthy discussion with the students about the experiences and challenges faced by them and conducted many fun activities and games. In gardening, students were taken to CEG's very own garden, lush and green with flora. The importance of trees and plants was reinforced and they were encouraged to nurture plants of their own in the future. Self-defense, a much needed skill in the present day, was taught to equip students to protect themselves from unfortunate situations. Sports activities of choice were taken up by the students and were trained in their respective sports during the course of the offline induction program. As Chennai welcomed the monsoon season with heavy rains, students were forced to take respite at home or in their hostels. Being well versed in the art of conducting the induction program online, we immediately and effectively altered the plans and schedule to match the situation. Activities like universal human values, creative arts and motivational talks that can be conducted online were retained. The speech that was to be held on the 10th of November was held online. The CEO of Agnikul, Mr. Srinath Ravichandran, had a good talk with the freshers. Later, Mr. Syed Khalil introduced the freshers to the CEG Veteran Program, which was created by our college's alumni for the students. The main purpose of this program was to help the students learn English and become better at it. The session had various notable alumni of the university, like the popular orator Bharti Vasta, highlight the importance of mastering communicative English. They encouraged students to actively seek guidance and overcome their inhibitions of the language with their different English language clubs in the college. The session definitely left the budding freshmen feel confident and hopeful with the view of being able to speak English clearly and concisely. On the 12th of November, the various clubs of the university introduced themselves and portrayed their speciality to enchant students to join them. Being conducted online, the presentations and videos made by the various clubs acted as their campaigning tools and also grabbed the students' attention. The students showed zeal to be part of like-minded communities that clubs offer. The 13th of November saw the glorious Swatantra Divas celebration. It was held to commemorate the 75th anniversary of India's independence, the glorious history of its people, its progress, culture and achievements. 
it was a two hour event wherein more than 900 freshers, our beloved orange tags, attended. Split into four push out rooms in Microsoft Teams, a few orange tags delivered speeches and presented poems even. This was followed by a quiz in Kahoot with 25 questions including audio and visual clues. A recorded video of a dance performance choreographed by instructor Hiteda was also played. The event was well received by the budding orange tags. The induction program came to an end with a seminar held by the faculty of the college. The teachers gave an introduction to online classes and the various facilities available online to simulate physical education conditions. They eagerly asked the students to make use of every opportunity they get to stimulate and grow wisely into smart, independent and knowledgeable individuals. All in all, this year's induction and orientation program was a great hit without a doubt. Nevertheless, this success wouldn't have been possible without our behind-the-scenes creators and volunteers. We thank the university administration for facilitating this program. The minions of magic are volunteers from various participating clubs and forums on campus were the workforce that ensured the smooth sailing of the program, both offline and online. We are one big family and we have once again proved that we have each other's back in delightful and desolate times alike.